Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir celebrates its ease differently. Screams, cries, wailings almost from every household welcomes the unfortunate wail of occupied Kashmir even on this festive day. Barricaded roads and streets and leaders caged in prisons are not even allowed to offer eat prayer and the young behind the bars can be seen as a glaring example of the Zionist tactics used by the Indian government in Aya OJK. Even on this auspicious day, the sloganeering, aerial firing, tear gas shelling, atrocities and call for independence do not leave the unfortunate people of occupied territory who also want to celebrate this day with utmost happiness like others. Can we say that it is ease for the occupied and the oppressed when oppression is all around, when killings happen on a daily basis under the Indians' illegal occupation? The only thing that can be said that there is no Eid under occupation and oppression. Occupied Kashmiris want to make the world aware that without a free Kashmir, there is no Eid for them. By chanting slogans in favor of freedom and against the oppressors, they remind the entire world that without freedom, there is no Eid. When they are surrounded by the enemies, then how can they celebrate Eid in the real sense? So their Eid is resistance and resistance as always. Unfortunately, this is the way how occupied Kashmiris celebrate their Eid.